Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Hello and welcome to the next Thunderbird 2 video where we're going to be looking at parts 7 and 8 this time and as you can see one of these parts is quite huge. Um, yeah we'll get on to that in just a moment. Um, I'm sorry for uploading last week's video a little later than I planned. I had a bit of an export trouble with it but hopefully this one is uploaded on time so uh, you can enjoy it on your Wednesday evening. Um, I just want to say as well that the launch pad is still available from Jerry Anderson Official. Go over there, get your launch pad um, before they sell out because it is going to be a fantastic accompanying piece to this Thunderbird 2. So um, we'll look at the Thunderbird 2 parts a little later. As always, we've got to finish off that pod vehicle though first. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's finish off this pod vehicle. So here we have the pod vehicle exactly how we left it. We just did the wheels last time. So we just moved the wheels aside for now and look at this part of the recovery vehicle, which uh, has got very nice um, clear writing and it's the same font as in the show. And yeah, it's it's well painted. Love this little attention to detail. Very nice indeed. But it is missing some parts, namely, let me just zoom out. These parts here, or firstly, I should say these parts here, these are kind of like little shoulder parts that um, we need to attach onto the main part of the recovery vehicle. And I've zoomed out too much. So the first part you'll need is this one, which has got like a little dip here so that it attaches very nicely into the back of the recovery vehicle there like that. So we just need to get some glue and just pop it on the inside rim there and then get the part and just glue it on, push it on, I should say, there, like that. And we do the exact same thing for the other side. Bit of glue, pop on these little shoulder parts. I call them shoulder parts. It doesn't really have shoulders because it's a vehicle, but there we go. And then around the front, it's exactly the same, but they are they do go together slightly differently. They've got a very big um, curve in here. You see, so they go really, really far in these parts. If I just kind of put it in there, that is how far in this should go. So you can afford to use quite a bit of glue on this part because it is quite a big surface area. And you just pop one of them in there like that, one of them in there like that. And I didn't really show off these parts very well before I did that. Sorry about that, but that is what they look like. I don't know whether they're headlights or there's something else. Oh, this one's not one to stay in. Um, the pod vehicles aren't very, it's not very clear what these parts do apart from the parts that actually move or do something in the show. So I don't know what these are for, but they are very nicely painted. And I really like that very thin black line around them as well. Really nice attention to detail. So that is that part there like that. We then bring back the wheels and you'll see that there's two tabs and two holes there. Make sure that you match up this piece and this piece because they uh, will go together. And you just pop a bit of glue into the hole there and there and maybe just a bit on the outside there as well just to really make it secure flip it around and just line it up and push it in there like that and now it's starting to look like something that resembles the recovery vehicle looking very nice indeed kind of looks like an angry bird don't you think a little beak and four eyes yeah if it was just one eye maybe but yeah i'm kind of waffling as i make sure that this is all attached and i think that is so the next part you'll need is moving around the back and you see there's got a kind of a tab here let's put some glue on the tab ready for this part which is this one which again has some nice detailing um all orange of course but yeah some nice detailing and it's got a clear hole here for where the part should go again just attach a bit of glue now i am probably over gluing this but security is better than insecurity or it not being secure i should say so um that is why but yeah i am probably over killing it quite a bit just push that down on there 
all the other parts as well. There we go. So that is the back covered up, these shoulder parts covered up. And yeah, looking very nice indeed. However, it is missing some kind of cockpit. It's a good job that I have the cockpit right here. And the cockpit part is very nicely detailed. Um, these are words. I'm not sure if we can read it. Let's see if I can zoom in for it. Mess it up. No, it's not going to do that. But these are words. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it says, but you can tell it's not just a faint white line. There is meant to be words in there, which is nice. I love this grated part here, which I guess is the access hatch. I like this red light here, kind of warning lights or kind of maybe a receiver of some kind. Then of course we have this flat gray part, uh, which we'll put this part over, which of course is the um, windshield. Very nice indeed. So just pop a bit of glue either side and just push this windshield on there like that. And there we have the front part of the recovery vehicle. Very nice indeed. And then we just bring this back and we get the beak of the Angry Bird part and just attach glue all the sides there and push this part on. Oh, there is access glue coming out. Oh, crikey, be right back. Hey, I saved it. I saved it before it caused any damage. So, uh, yeah, that is I'm very lucky. I'm glad about that. So, yeah, that is the front part all on there. Now we just need to work on the final back part here. The first step, we'll need this part here, which again is a very nice minimalist detail of the black and the yellow stripe there. And the nice silverly, silver painted parts there as well. I do like the minimalist um, details of all the Thunderbird craft. Very 60s, very nice indeed. So yeah, this just goes in this way with these pegs into these holes. And we just push that down to secure it. it. Doesn't need to be pushed down too much, but just make sure that the glue starts to set. Oh, well, I like the fact that it adds back detail as well. So this isn't just flat black, uh, flat uh, orange plastic. That's nice. Cool. With that done, oh, it's still a little loose. Might put some more glue just to. I oh, don't know why I did that because it wouldn't actually reach. Okay. That should be secure now. But while that is setting, we'll focus on these four slots at the back, which hold kind of the winding mechanism of the cable. So you'll need to get this part and attach some glue onto the kind of sunken down parts like that. And just pop. First one in there, looking like that, with the silver part facing outwards. And we just swing it around and we do the exact same thing on the other side. Bit of glue, bit of glue. Make sure the silver part is facing outwards. Pop it in there. Oh, this one's a little fiddly. No, there we go, it's gone in. There we go, we're just starting to come together now. So much so that I probably need to zoom out just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. In fact, move this aside because we're going to go on to this silver part now, which will hold the suckers or the magnetic um, cable shooter parts. Um, and we also have the cables for the magnetic shooter cable parts. <laughs> uh, there's a little very thin peg there, and these are hollow. So you just put the hollow hose over the peg. It does go in, yeah, like that. Do the same for this one, like that. Ta-da! And then we need to attach glue onto these four parts here and this peg here to match up these four holes in this peg. So, uh, in fact, I'm going to put the holes, uh, the glue, sorry, into the holes themselves. I think that'd be more secure. And 
when we do this, this part is going to take some pushing down because these um, rubbery hosey parts, they kind of bend up like that. And because they are quite thick and quite tight, they tend to push up this part here. So you really need to put some pressure onto the back of this part here to make sure it is secure. So I'm just going to go and push this down for a bit. And there it is all in place. That took about uh, five minutes for that glue to set. And while I was looking at it, I was looking closely at these words and you can read them. They say jet stream vent. So this is a little vent here for the jet stream for the powerful um, mechanism that works these clamps. Um, yeah, so that is pretty cool. Really like the fact that you can read that. Um, okay, so when that's set, you then get these cables and you just pop them onto these little pegs here. Oh, oh it's all come off, which is probably a good thing actually, because then it can set in the right position. That'll be fine. And that's what the cables look like. I would have thought that the cables went underneath and round, but no. They don't and I did check it out as well with the show and they don't they're just kind of fed through these are the kind of motors I guess that feed through the cables don't really know how it works but yeah it looks very cool anyway brilliant right okay so the next part are the headlights these are headlights because the instructions say they are and I just need to pop just a tiny bit of glue on them and then position them into this slot here. Oh dear. Successful, it wasn't. There we go. Just like that. So the silver paint is facing this way. And then this back hole is for this antenna, which again, you just need to attach a little bit of glue onto. just pop that in there like that that's quite hard to push down actually there we go oh I bent bent the antenna there we go just going to leave that to dry for a moment ah there might be a reason why this isn't going in as well as it should although it is in there now damn it it's because it should be haha uh -huh. right it should be facing forward like that. There we go. Not facing back, facing forward. And you see it goes into that hole much better that way. Yep, very nice indeed. So the final parts, well, what's missing? Tell me what's missing. Exactly, it's the clamps. These two clamps here, very nicely detailed. Um, I love, they actually do look like little suckers, which is pretty cool. And again, you just pop some glue onto the bottom of it, like that. And you push it into this hole. Now I'm going to make sure that they're aligned symmetrically, like that. But you don't have to do that. That's just me being a bit pernickety. So there's the first one there, like that. Let's put some glue on the second. Pop them in there, like that. And this back end has come up again. Oh no, it hasn't. That's just my imagination. There we go. And that is the recovery vehicle all done and dusted. So let's just have a closer look at it. Yeah, love the attention to detail. I love the simplicity of it, like I've said before. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, um, in the actual show, there is like a little hoop that comes out of these two silver parts here, which isn't present in this model, I guess it would just be too fiddly to do. But that is the only difference that I can see anyway, from the show to the model, which is pretty exquisite when you think about it, and think about the size and everything. So yeah, very, very happy with that. And it goes very nicely with all the other pod vehicles that we have done so far, as you can see in this photo here. So yeah, um, <laughs> the kid in me is just ecstatic that I finally have pod vehicle toys to play with because I never had them growing up. I don't think they were available growing up unless you bought Japanese kits. Um, so yeah, very, very happy that I finally have my own little recovery vehicle, Pit Apparel being one of my favourite episodes. Um, yeah, it's a shame that it doesn't go up 
and these shoot out. But, you know, if you want to modify it, I'm sure you can. And I'm sure it has been done already. Uh, if you do and you do a video of it, please let me know. Um, please comment in the comments down below or send me an email because I would love to see that in action. But for now, that is the recovery vehicle all done. Let's move on to the parts we get for Thunderbird 2 in these two issues. So once again we have put down a soft surface because we are going to be screwing parts together and I don't want to scratch the Thunderbird 2. Uh, and speaking of Thunderbird 2, we only get one part uh, this week, but what a part it is. It doesn't even fit on camera. It is the complete underside of the main body of Thunderbird 2. I'm just going to quickly just show you in detail what it looks like. Look at that. Very, very pretty. Some parts to be plugged in there. This is where the main battery box will be. This is what I spoke about last week. Um, we won't be using that test battery box. We'll be getting one to fit on the underside there. Oh, look, and then there's the on-off switch. I didn't notice that. On-off switch will go there. Very nicely hidden. I didn't even notice. And then, of course, these are the parts for the legs. And this is the underside. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is you need to get the underside of the nose cone which I have here with all the parts that we did last time. And basically you just pop it over there like that. Let me just show you. There's two big um, piping tube parts there and two cut out, cut out holes here and here. Slide it over there, push it down and we screw it into these four holes here. So I'm just gonna go and do that. Right, well, I know I've only attached two screws, but I can't seem to find the other two for this part, which is really silly because I should have spare because I got two undersides of the cockpit. But never mind. Um, <laughs> this is uh, this is what we're left with. Um, and it, it doesn't matter for, for the sense of showing it off because it, it does all fit the same. But look at that. It's, it's again, it's seamless. You know, you can't tell that these are separate parts. And you really get a sense of the size scale now um like i say it doesn't fit on camera let me see if i can actually get it to fit on camera and the answer is not really <laughs> you really can't get it all in uh which is great because you know you're paying good money i want something that's big and large and uh, that is what this is so if we just bring in the completed pod vehicle uh, technically it should be like that if it's sat in the pod but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to put that there like that and yeah <laughs> it looks like a little baby in a big mummy, which I guess is what Thunderbird 2 is all about. Um, so yeah, that is it for the Thunderbird 2 build, um, which is quite good because we did a lot of pod vehicle parts this time. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it is just one piece, but it's a heck of a piece and it gets me really excited to see what is going to come next week. I hope you will join me for that. So until then, guys, take care. FAB, bye-bye.